Hi, my name is Andrew, and I'll present our work on human shape estimation from silhouettes. This is a work performed at Etihad Zurich under Professor Markus Gross. 3D human shape estimation has recently received a lot of interest. In this work, we tackle the problem of shape estimation from silhouettes for humans in tight clothing and poses in compliance with two main scenarios. Shape from individually taken pictures or selfies, for example, through a mirror, assuming poses in mild self occlusion, and body health monitoring, assuming one or two views in a neutral pose. With respect to related work in this domain, we could put them into two main groups silhouette matching and optimization based methods, and statistical matching and learning methods. While the first ones are typically more accurate but slow, the latter are fast but not super accurate. Our method falls into the second category and improves both on accuracy and speed. Almost all previous methods find a mapping from silhouettes to parameters of a statistical shape model learned from body scans utilizing the scape model. A least square system is then solved to obtain the final mesh. We, on the other hand, map silhouettes to a learned embedding space based on heat kernel descriptors, which regresses to full vertex positions to obtain the mesh. In this work, shape estimation is achieved with the help of a novel synonym-based architecture consisting of three main components, a generative, a predictive, and a cross-model one. The generative component can invert pose-invariant 3D shape descriptors to reconstruct the shape in its neutral pose via shape embedding space. It is based on the heat kernel signatures with properties that make it a very suitable choice to consistently represent human body shapes under different poses. The second component finds a mapping from 2D silhouettes to 3D body shape vertices with a loss on the newly learned embedding space during training and a forward pass through it to estimate mesh vertices directly. This achieves good accuracy already. The cross-model component leverages from multi-view information at training time by pre-training for each single view and then combining all views together through correlating features in fully connected layers and minimizing the combined loss. This boosts predictions coming from a single view at test time as compared to training in the unimodal case. For quantitative evaluation, we compute 16 body measurements widely used in tailor fitting over a set of meshes fitted to Caesar human body scans, similar to Boisvert et al. We report mean errors for each measurement over all test meshes that we consider. For example, here the chest circumference measurement errors are shown in millimeters for various methods we compare to along with ours. Similarly, for the waist circumference and height. As it can be seen, our methods tend to achieve the lowest reconstruction error. And now let's show some qualitative results with silhouette as an input and 3D shape as an output. Here we compare to previous work. Please note how our method shows a clear improvement in the estimated region around the waist. And now we'll also show overlays and compare to the method from Keep It Simple, which actually focuses more on pose estimation. While the latter finds a more accurate pose our method estimates a more accurate shape. And lastly, we show potential applications of the generative part of our network when feather shape descriptor extracted from some mesh. It can be used to reconstruct partial meshes, invert the pose mesh into a neutral one, or even denoise a noisy mesh. For more info, please visit our poster number 17. Thank you. <laughs>